Who doesn't love a good easter egg in a game? Of course at the moment there are spoilers going out but this one is not a spoiler trust me this one was actually shown in a WB Montreal interview that I managed to catch last night. So just a quick recap of the easter eggs that we know so far. Superman sent an email to Dick Grayson sending his condolences for his loss of his mentor and I've always said that the Justice League should be making an appearance in this game because if Batman was one of the founding members and they found out about his death it would make complete sense that they would have some reference or mention within the game. The second easter egg is a Catherine Kane of Batwoman easter egg. Maybe she's a playable character or we'll possibly meet her within this universe going into it. Jeff Eleanor, game director for WB Games Montreal slash Gotham Knights did tweet out last night that he was in a recent interview for a French journalist on a YouTube channel alongside Anne LeMay, narrative director for WB Games Montreal also said the same thing. I will post a link for the video in my description box and while you're there go give me a follow on Twitter because I'd love to have a conversation with you about Gotham Knights. Now in this little interview there's so much information to be unpacked and it was a great insight into the game, the direction and things that you might not have heard when it comes to Gotham Knights. All credit and thanks goes to Gotham Ghost 11 for showcasing this and highlighting it to me by sending it over in a DM. So this is what you're all here for, let me know if you can catch it yourself while watching the interview if you do go on to watch it but it looks as if Cyrus Gold aka Solomon Grundy might be a villain within this world who knows if he does actually turn up could be coming down in the expansion or anything or within the main game we still don't know what is going on one thing that was stated by the Gotham Knights dev team that Gotham will have 400 years worth of lore as you can see in this screenshot right now Batgirl is searching an area where she comes across a case file and in this case file it says Cyrus Gold aka Solomon Grundy. Now does this mean that he's going to be someone that's going to turn up or could it just be a clever nod to let us know that the role gallery within Gotham still exists. We know that it exists because obviously villains are always going to be up to no good whether or not they're locked up or they're out and about doing what they need to do and this could also mean there's potential doors for Solomon Grundy to turn up in this game or come down later on in the road as you know that this game is going to have some support for a long time. I'm just very interested to know what you guys think don't come into the comment section with any spoilers but who would you like to see appear in this game who would you like to see a reference to and what do you think about that little easter egg that is in the Gotham Knights because I think that's really cool that as you're going along this game you could potentially find little nods and winks to certain villains heroes and anything that can connect anything to the Batman universe or the Bat Family universe with all that being said if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button some boxes should be appearing on your screen right now subscribe watch another video connect with me on social media that's discord and twitter you can find that in my description box don't forget to look at the link for the interview yourself because i think it's really fascinating and i'll see you guys in a next one take it easy peace